Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be doing for you today a mineral makeup look. Now I have never used mineral makeup in terms of a foundation or as a blusher or anything. Um, so this is going to be a first for me. And um, yeah, the lovely brand Zeus they kindly gifted me these products to try on camera for you all so let's go ahead and try them so the first thing I'm going to be popping on for you is the Royal Gold Nourishing Day, Day Cream which is for mature and dry skin and this um, yeah is meant to be really good for anti-aging oh that smells nice that smells citrusy oh that smells really lovely and it's really thick that feels nice I like that. And a little bit goes a long way, so that pot's probably gonna last me quite a while. Oh, I like that. And that's refreshing, that'd be lovely in the morning. Oh, I really like that. So there we go, that feels really like luxurious as well. I like it, okay, lovely and thick, not, not greasy. So the next thing is a mineral makeup pre-base. This is like a primer, um, and it's to create a smooth canvas for when you're going to put your makeup on um, and it's a natural face primer so it's just really interesting because this is all super natural and um, yeah I've never used anything like a because um, this is also a highlighter I think isn't this a highlight yeah so I've got like a highlighter that's mineral based I've got a mineral foundation I've got eyeshadows I've got a blusher and then I've got a lip product as well so it's all going to be really cool to use right Let's try this now that my skin is probably sunking pretty well. Okay, so that reminds me of something. I don't know what that reminds me of. It reminds me of something. It reminds me of something that my grandma used to use. Which is, is it a nay -a -nay or something? Is that what the perfume was? Reminds me a little bit of that. Okay, so that's good. You want it to be slightly sticky so that your makeup can stick to it, especially when you're using a powder base. Oh, okay. So there's that. It doesn't feel like silicone at all. Silicone, that's a new word, but it feels like it hopefully will get my makeup to kind of settle on and stick okay so let's try the foundation so i wasn't quite sure what foundation shade i would be so i picked medium beige but it might be a little bit too orangey for me i'm not quite sure so let's give it a whirl oh so it comes like this in a pot like this and then you've got this plastic bit on top that you basically turn around to shut it um it did have a sticky bit but i took it off before the fit for videoing because i just thought otherwise it's going to be a nightmare but i just realized i didn't take off the blusher one or the highlighter one so hey <laughs> right i'm going to just be using a brush like this um which is a profusion brush and let's see how this goes on now i'm always used to oh i'm always used to um medium to full coverage foundation so i was a bit skeptical skeptical on whether this was actually going to cover and whether it was going to do what i would want it to do but so far it seems like it's pretty good it's very glowy isn't it or is that the moisturizer I definitely think this is this isn't the right shade for me I should have got a lighter shade um, but it is covering really well I'm actually impressed with that I don't know why but I just didn't think it would so just pop it all over my face and I think the primer is um, definitely letting the foundation sorry guys I didn't take off my Lemon ring tone. Um, it's definitely not the right shade, I think. I think it's orangey. I don't know if you guys are picking that up on camera, but it definitely feels like it's a little bit too orange for me, my skin tone. But I'm impressed. I think that's really good, actually. Okay. Yeah. Go, Zeus guy. Right. 
Next is, they didn't, I didn't have a concealer. Um, so I'm just going to use my normal concealer, which is this one from EX1, and it's the Delete Fluid Concealer. So this is a full coverage concealer, so just put under my eyes. I'll just pat that on. But do you guys use mineral makeup if so? Like, do you like it? Obviously you would if you're using it, or have you tried it and has it not worked for you? What are your thoughts on it all? But yeah, I'm pretty, to be honest, quite impressed with that foundation. It's just, this would be really lovely for like spring, summertime, I think, because you would just be, it would just, it just looks a lot more natural, doesn't it? It, it does, it looks a lot more natural, but it's covered up really well. Okay, so now I'm going to be using a highlighter and this is Mineral Veil Model Glow. Let's hope I can get the label off. Uh, come on. Oh. Yes, okay, so again, just like the foundation, it's in a pot like that. I'm gonna pop it in the lid. Um, I'm going to use this, I think. I'm sure this is a highlighter, or is this a powder? Oh no, highlighter. Oh. Definitely highlights, isn't it? I've used the wrong brush for it. I think a fan brush would have worked a lot better for this. But, can you see that? That is really lovely. Do you know what? Using these products is making me just think of like bridal makeup. I think it would be really lovely if you want a natural look. It would be gorgeous. But yeah, fan brush for this, I think, guys. I just think it's just so lovely and glowy. Like, the highlighter isn't, damn in your face but I'm just meaning the whole look it just it is super glowy I mean I'm quite um, oily though hang on is that a highlighter because it's not actually really doing much maybe it's not maybe it is a powder but it just has like a pretty glow to it okay it's not gonna hurt putting it everywhere let's pop it under there and under there actually yeah I think it must be a powder because look at that it's setting that really well okay let's use my massive brush now so this is a good um this is a good powder because this I as you could see I was super shiny and this has settled it a lot more. Um, whether it's going to stop creasing, I don't know. But the foundation, now that I can see it settling, like, it's not covered how I'd like it to cover. Um, so I think if you definitely want a more natural look, this is definitely something that would work really, really well for you. So I'm just going to do my eyebrows now. And I've got the Julienne um, Define Yourself. I absolutely love this. So... Just brush up. I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna do quite a natural look with this. So I'll just fill in my eyebrows and then I am literally just going to have um, the eyeshadow that they've sent, the um, blusher, and then I will pop on some mascara. And I won't even do eyeliner or anything like that. I think I'm just going to do that and see how I get on. So, eyebrows, I don't take that much time on them, as you can see. I'm not going to put eye gel in or anything. I'm just going to have this like this. Okay, so those are my eyebrows done. Now let's get to the eyeshadow. So I've got two eyeshadows here. 
So this is the shade Arizona and this is the shade Glimmering Bronze. They are both really beautiful colours. The Glimmering Bronze is just stunning um, and the Arizona one is more like a, like a taupey natural shade. So again, it's the same concept as the foundation and the powder. I can't believe I thought it was a flipping highlighter. I think it's because it was just so glowy. Um, so I'm going to pop some of this in here. It's be interesting to see how I can work with these shadows. Okay. And then the glimmering bronze. Let's see how I get on with this one. Ooh, that looks super pigmented. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a flat brush for the Arizona shade and I'm gonna pop that on my lid. Just tapping off any excess. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. Okay, that's gorge like absolutely gorge look at that i hope that's picking it up on camera because that's beautiful that is it's like a shimmery lavender purple kind of shade that's so beautiful right and then i think i'm going to just carry that a little bit on the edge there super pigmented as well now i can get my fluffy brush and just work that around like so okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, gold shade which is um, super pigmented from what I can see and then I'm going to pop that in the inner corner whoa Wow, okay, my eyes are dribbling for crying out loud. Maybe I've got powder in them. Look at that pigmentation. Oh my god, that's insane. That is so good. I'm just gonna work that up a little bit more. Wow, look at that. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, so that's that. Highly recommend those eyeshadows, they are really, really good. I think those are my favourite things so far. Next is the blusher, which is in Sugar Plum. Again, same packaging, same concept. So this is it here. Ooh, this looks pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get a blusher brush. Tap off any excess, because there's a lot, <laughs> a lot. Oh my god, that's so pretty. <gasps> Is it to be like metallic-y like that? If so, I'm 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 all over this. I'm all over this. So you need a tiny, 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 tiny amount. I think the base is just the wrong shade for me, which is unfortunate. But the eyeshadows, I think, as a look for summer, this would be just so pretty. Right, let's, I need my um, mascara, which I will do off camera for you all, and then I'll show you the complete look. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the eye, uh, the lip product on for you. So this is in grape. Ooh, that looks nice. And this is a natural lip gloss. So, see how pigmented this is. Oh, wow. That is. Oh, my God. That is so pretty. Wow, that is so pretty. I'm really impressed. Well done, Zuska. Right, I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do my um, mascara and then I'll come back and show you the complete look. Ready? So this is the completed look. Um, I think the blusher has probably gone a bit orange on me, but I think if I used a tiny amount, then it would be much better. And also the pigmentation is really good. 
and I think I'll also use it as an eyeshadow because I think it's a really beautiful shade. The eyeshadows are my favourites in this um, in this makeup look. Oh my goodness, they are really beautiful. Uh, I think I will probably add liner. I feel naked because I haven't got liner on. I always have liner on. Um, the foundation I think is the wrong shade for me, but I was quite surprised with how well it covered um, my blemishes and um, it, it was easy to work with. But I definitely think I prefer liquid foundations and that they got to be super high coverage is just my preference. The uh, powder was really good, it settled the, the oiliness. The makeup base was nice and sticky and I think it helped the makeup um, settle really well on my skin and kind of be like a good base. Um, the lip gloss, I was really surprised with how pigmented it is. Um, but yeah, and this is it here and it's not sticky or anything. It feels moisturising. The... Um, yeah, it's just the foundation, I think, that is something that I probably will not use again. But I know somebody who will. My mama, she's going to be all over it because she loves makeup, uh, mineral powder makeup. But the blusher and the eyeshadows are definitely a thumbs up from me and I absolutely love them. So I'll link everything, guys, for you below. And please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.